In this video, let's discuss about typography in Angular Material. Now typography basically deals with the style and appearance of text on your website. If your website has text content with way too many styles or font sizes, it kind of spoils the UI. To address this concern, Angular Material provides typography levels. Each level has a definite font size, font weight, and line height. Let's take a closer look at the different typography levels. To create huge headers in the web page, we can make use of the material display classes. Now there are a total of four display classes, so let me create four div tags, one for each display class. In fact, let me simply copy paste the code and then explain it. So we have four div tags, each with a different class. The topmost one is mat display four, mat display three, two, and one. If we save this and take a look at the browser, you can see how they appear on the web page. Display four has the largest size and the size decreases as we move towards display one. When you have to really capture the user's attention, this is probably the way to go. Next, we have four more classes that correspond to h1, h2, h3, and h4 tags for a section of your web page. Again, let me copy paste four more div tags. We have the mat headline class, which is for an h1 tag, mat title, which is equivalent to an h2 tag, subheading 2 for h3 and subheading 1 for h4. If you save the file and take a look at the browser, you can see the four classes in action. So these are also kind of headings but smaller compared to the display classes. The display classes you probably use only once at the very top of your page and the section headings like headline can be used multiple times once for each section. All right, next we have body text and caption. Again, let me copy paste the div tags. So for the body content in your page, that is for text other than headings, you can make use of body one. And if you need the text to be in bold, use body two. And if there is a caption, use the caption class. So mat body one, mat body two, and mat caption. If you take a look at the browser, you can see them in action. Body one, body two, which is bold text, and then the caption. Now the final class we have is the typography class itself. And what it does is it allows h1 to h4 tags to be used as you would normally. You just have to wrap them in material typography class. Again, let me quickly copy paste the div tags. So you can see that we have a div tag with class mat typography. And then within this div tag, we can use the regular h1 to h4 tags. If we save this and take a look at the browser, you can see that it is exactly the same as headline, title, and subheading classes. So this is about typography in Angular Material, a set of classes concerned with the style and appearance of text in your application. In the next video, let's discuss about one of the most fundamental HTML elements, which is the button element. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.